Hey, I'm Jason Lachlan, and in this video I'm gonna show you a country boogie rhythm guitar pattern. Country boogies were really popular in the 90s, so if you're a fan of Alan Jackson, Brooks and Dunn, Dwight Yoakam, Brent Mason's rhythm guitar parts, then you're gonna to wanna to check this lesson out. All right, before we get into it, you're gonna to wanna to grab the free tab and backing track for this lesson. Also, if you wanna learn more about essential country feels and rhythm guitar parts, then you're gonna to wanna to check out my course, 20 Must Know Country Guitar Rhythms. I'll put all those links down below. All right, so if we're gonna be playing a country boogie, we need to know what a country boogie is and what a boogie is. It's not what you think. Boogie Woogie piano playing came out of Texas in the 1930s and it's a very important style of music uh, in the history of American music. In my opinion, rock and roll and rockabilly are really the orchestration of boogie-woogie piano playing. And what makes this music unique is a consistent melodic bass line. And this bass line happens over and over again underneath each one of these chords, and it's kind of the driving rhythm and melody that holds everything together. When we have a consistent bass line like that, we call that an ostinato. All right, let's take a look at this bass line. So we're gonna be starting with just a simple boogie woogie bass line so you can see where this country boogie comes from. I'm gonna be doing this over an E major chord. When we get this rhythm guitar part up on its feet, we're gonna be playing over a progression in the key of E. It's gonna be a one, four, one, five, one progression. That's E, A, E, B, e. All that stuff is notated and tabbed out for you though um, at those free tabs down below. So let's check this out. So without any double stops, any hybrid picking, none of that stuff yet, just the boogie woogie bass line, it's gonna sound like this. All right, let's countrify it now. So let's first talk about our picking hand. So we're gonna be adding in double stops and some hybrid picking. And let me just give you some general rules. One is we're gonna to try to always palm mute that low E string. And anything I play on that low E string is gonna be with the pick. When I'm playing double stops, I'm gonna be doing those on the A and D string. And I'm gonna be doing that with my middle and ring finger. So pick on the low E, double stops being played with the middle and ring for the A and D string. So now let's talk about the uh, fretting hand over here and how all that lines up. So I start with my low E. I'm gonna be grabbing the fifth and root of the chord there with the fingers here. On beat two, I'm gonna be playing the flat three to three. That's a downstroke and an upstroke with the pick. Back to the double stop. Low E again. Then I'm gonna come across with the third finger playing the sixth of the chord. Index is covering the root, so that's C sharp and E then lifting it up to get the B and E, or the fifth in root. So all together slow. And I'm really trying to pop those strings uh, when I'm playing those double stops, trying to get those strings to spank a little bit on the fretboard. Okay, now we want when we want to move this to the four chord, it's really easy. Everything just drops down a string set. So our fretting hand is gonna come down a string set, so we're off of the A, D, and G string. Same thing with our picking uh, hand over here. Everything just comes down. All the fingerings stay the same. Everything in your picking hand stays the same. Move that back up to E. Okay, on to the five chord. When we go to this five chord, the B chord, we can't rely on open strings anymore. So we need a movable version of this country boogie rhythm guitar pattern so we could play that over the B chord. So before I get into that, if you're digging this lesson, the best way to support what I do here is to subscribe. That really helps me build this channel. And again, if you wanna learn more about these essential 
uh, country rhythm guitar patterns, go check out that chorus down below. All right, onto the B chord. So I'm gonna do this out of a G shaped B chord. So you have your open G chord. I'm just basically moving it up. So I have B in the bass and I'm using kind of this as a visual. So there's a G chord here, moving up. So Pinky is gonna be playing the root. Now my double stop is gonna be on the D and G string with the index finger still. So I have my pick playing the root, double stop, I can't do the three and, flat three and three on the same string I'm playing the root anymore. I have to do that now on the A string. So root, double stop, flat three, three, double stop, back to a root, coming across to put the third finger there on the six, grabbing that double stop and lifting it up. Slowly. So now we have a country boogie rhythm guitar pattern for E, A, and B, or a one, four, and five chord. Let's put this all together again and play this over a track. So many classic country rhythm guitar parts are built off of that country boogie pattern. You could add fills to it, you could add variations to it. So make sure you're really taking time, you're learning it, use those free tabs, use that free backing track. And if you really wanna build out your country rhythm guitar toolbox, check out that course I put out, 20 must know country guitar rhythms. All those links are down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.